Hey, what's up guys and girls, this is Midori, and I'm back with another episode of Drawing Midori. Hope you guys had a great week. Today I will be working with Red Dead Redemption 2, and I will be working with the main character from the game, um, Arthur Morgan. And starting out, as you can see, as always, I always start off with the skeleton, which is basically shapes. I am blocking out the basic shapes and silhouette of the character before I go into too much fine details. Once I'm happy with the shapes and the proportions of the character, uh, then I go into some of the details as you can see what I'm doing now uh, with his face. Now, keep in mind that a lot of my drawings always end up in my style, um, sort of like my interpretation of the character. So, especially if the the subject matter is realistic looking, um, it always ends up looking like my style or my interpretation. It never looks 100% uh, like the character. So just keep that in mind. I think it has a lot to do with the fact that. I tend to draw in from my imagination a lot and uh, when I draw in imagination I usually have a certain style that I draw in so it's sort of the same um, because you know if you train yourself to draw still life uh, whether it be college or just on your own then you know you could get more accurate drawings but if you train yourself to draw from imagination like if you want to do comics and stuff like that you tend to draw everything uh, sort of in your style but you have to figure out a way to balance both you know draw still life and draw from the imagination that way you can incorporate the both you know because you know like some people let's say for example you start off just drawing dragon ball z all the time you know when you go to draw a realistic character it's going to end up looking like dragon ball z you know what i mean so i know there's a lot of artists that started off that way but anyway on to the drawing uh so the stage that I'm in now, I got most of the basic detail sketched down and I'm pretty much going over it with my Copic Multiliner 0.1 as always. Sooner or later guys, I'm going to switch it up and go for like a Japanese uh, fountain pen. But for now, I'm still using my Copic Multiliner because they go so well, so, so well with Copic markers. Well, of course they have to work together you know because they're the same brand but you know i tried use sakuras and they smudge with copics now here i'm blacking out all the shadows that's going to be in this drawing as you can see as always you see the little art arrow at the top left corner of this hat that's where the light source is coming from so that way i can always know like okay while i'm drawing the light is coming from the left hand side top left so all the shadows naturally should fall on the right hand side and not the left because sometimes you tend to forget that you know so i keep that as a reminder to stay on track now the style that i'm going with is pretty much a lot of the promotional art and also similar to the style that you see in a lot of the gta promotional art so it's sort of like this very flat uh, almost look very graphic design or if it's done in flash, you know, just basic flat colors and not too much like gradation, if that makes sense. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna try to mimic in this drawing. And this drawing is pretty fast, but it still took about two hours to do. Guys, this drawing is coming to an end. What I will be doing next, I'm not 100% sure, but I will let you know in a minute what will be the next drawing. And this is pretty much coming to the end. I'm just gonna fill out the black. I mean, not the black, but the background with the red. As you can see in a lot of the promotional art. Next, I think I will be doing either between these two subjects. It's gonna either be SWAT cats my old favorite 90s cartoon, uh, Saturday morning cartoon from the 90s. And it's pretty much really awesome uh, series that pretty much it, it lived really short. You know, had a short, uh, you know, season span. I think it was only one or two seasons and then it was canceled. But it's one of my childhood favorites next to Ninja Turtles, Sonic the Hedgehog, a lot of stuff 
that was from the late 80s and early 90s and I will be exploring a lot of those cartoons even stuff like Biker Mice from Mars I'm taking it really back old school so it's a pretty really nostalgic for me so I will have a lot of fun doing it and I hope you guys will have a lot of fun watching me do it also I might also do um, Soul Weaver Legacy of Kane but that's for later this week guys I hope you have a great day or a great night check you guys later <laughs>